watching, you're learning. Welcome to Little Creek Big Ranch. What we're going to do here real quick is have a quick lesson on lighting a smoker. You would think something as simple as this would be easy. A lot of beekeepers here, they're learning. Uh, learning, so here's some tips and tricks and to do's and what not to do. So what you see here in front of you is the smoker. Here's my, here's my fuel can smoker. This is my snuffer can. Okay, so let me kind of go through. This is what I do. In the bag, we have some birch bark. Birch is a flaky bark. It's real flammable. Did you know that? Birch is like a natural fire starter. Natural fire starter. I like to use uh, dried dried manure. Make sure it's dried. All we want is a fuel that burns up. It's kind of slow and cool. We don't want a big old giant fire. We don't want that. All right, so we just go through the pasture way down yonder and get a couple of buckets of dried cow manure is fine. Doesn't bother the bees, doesn't bother the honeys. That's, that's not a problem. All right, smoker. Now, for, first our lighter is a propane camp, little propane bottle. And then a uh, torch, we want a flame. We want to get a flame going. Bic lighter doesn't work for this project. We don't, want, we don't want that. The smoker itself, now check this out. First of all, it's hot, so we want a guard, want some kind of guard on it. You really don't want it sitting next to something plastic. We don't want that. Okay, this is a bellows. This part is called the bellows. This is the smoke can. This is all basic stuff for basic be beginner beekeepers who are always curious about all this stuff. So there's my smoke smoke can. Here's my bellows. All right, now watch. See the bellows? I know it's kind of separated here. I like the leather bellows anyway. I don't like the plastic bellows. See this hole in the can right here? And there's a hole in the bellows. There's no tube. No connecting tube. It just puffs air from the bellows into the can. That's all it does. Just puffs air through the hole into the can of the bellows. Or the into the smoke can. If I stick my hand down inside, we have like a three-legged stool. <clears throat> now, a lot of beekeepers, they'll just stick their stand. And it flips upside down, of course. Excuse me while I fish it around now. We got it setting up right, not a problem. And then they'll start stuffing fuel down there and light it. And it'll get going, and a little while later, psh, it'll be out. And <laughs> battle with this and battle and battle and battle. So here's the deal when you put fuel in here, you've got limited airflow inside, and it's, and it's end, going to end up snuffing out the fire. So what we want to do is take a vegetable. This is a vegetable can, just your normal vegetable can. I take out the vegetables in the paper and drill, I don't know, those quarter inch holes. I don't know, 50, 100, all through, all around the can. I kicked me some legs out, some legs, holes in the bottom. Now this becomes my fuel can, so that my fuel goes in the can. I can even do this. I can layer it if I want to. I can put in a little bit of birch bark, a little bit of fuel, and break it up. <clears throat> Not a problem. Something simple. Okay, so so there's my fuel can. This is my smoke can. This is my fuel can. The reason being, if you look, it creates a space around the fuel for air air. You need heat, fuel, and oxygen for a fire. So we want that space. In it goes. Really simple. And then we'll light it. Now Now watch. So over the weeks and months of using it, all this black soot creosote builds up. Return it. It's rather significant. And, and it will build up around the edge. Around here it will build up. So when you go and you put out your smoker and you close it and walk away you're done for the day and you come back 
the next week or whatever to open this. <laughs> it's sealed tight like cement, man. You have just used creosote to cool down the edge. It, co it cools down and just cements that. So when you're done with your smoker, every time, when you're done with your smoker, you need to open it. Get your fuel out, kill the fuel, and leave it like that. That way you're not battling with this edge around here. Okay, now, so when I'm done with my fuel, I have a pair of pliers. I'll grab my fuel can. My fuel can will go right in my snuffer can. This is my snuffer can. The lid goes on it, and a brick sets on it. That's my snuffer can. It'll be out. Next time I use it, I can empty the fuel out, recharge it again, start over again. Okay? Lots of little things here. Now watch, still not done. So on this edge right here, on this edge, is all this creosote built up, particularly inside here and inside here. And it's thick. It's thick. And I need to burn, I actually really <laughs> need to burn this out. So we're going to light the torch and light this and burn it. And it will swell, it'll poof, because this is too much of a bill. This is built up too much. Built up too much. Okay, so, so you have a creosote built up inside. If you leave your can shut when you're done, and you come back the next day or week, it's like fighting. Grr, it is very hard to get open, so just leave it, leave it open. The biggest tip I can give a student is this fuel can. This doesn't come with a smoker. Now you would think the industry would figure this out, but no, you got to do this yourself because you've jammed fuel down in there. It's not getting enough air, and then it goes out when you need it the most. So we create a fuel can. It has a space around the can if you look down inside. Yep, space. Okay, so there's my birch bark starter. I'll toss that to the side. There's my fuel. Now let's light it. And check this out. This is a torch. Yeah. So we want to get on to the lighting. We don't want to wrestle around here. I'm going to hold it down there. Let it burn in a little while. Light that birch bark on. Here we go. Give it a puff. <laughs> Hope you can see. Now keep your mask and jacket away from the flames, okay? Off. Got a flame going. Now look, I don't want to fire. I can even shove, I can put some more down in there. Let it heat up. Don't assume it's lit yet. Get your face mask and your jacket too close to the fire and you put a hole in it really quick. You don't want to do that. You see, we don't just barely warm. The idea behind the smoke is we want to trick the bees into thinking their house is on fire. They'll go suck up some honey to leave their house if they have to. And then the, their abdomen swell. When they suck up a bunch of honey, their abdomen swell and they can't sting so easily but the smoke the smoke covers their chemical scent that they give off they have 17 different chemical compounds they can use to talk to each other and they can't get a rally up on me if they can't communicate yeah this way doesn't make them go to sleep that's a myth urban legend Okay, so it's getting warm, yep. Just let a little bit of air get to it. Be slow, no hurry. No giant hurry, that's what we want. See that right there? That's great. There's other fuels you can use. Pine needles, cardboard, grass, whatever. I find this to be perfect. It burns solid. It doesn't go super fast. It doesn't, it doesn't overdo the smoke. I don't need tons of smoke. A little's good. Too much is bad. Too much smoke on the bees and they just get mad. A little bit of smoke. 
Get the girls thinking about, hey, maybe our house is on fire. Never, ever smoke underneath the bottom board if you have screen bottom boards. That's a bad deal. Of course, I would never know that. I've never, never done that before. Watch them roll out and hang on a bush. That'll freak you out. Just on the porch. Just a couple of puffs on the porch. Give them a minute. Okay, so there's a smoker can. It's time for me to burn the creosote out. I'll probably do that after I'm done. <clears throat> but we got some few little nukes to work. I want to do a lesson on a smoker can. I like the leather bellows myself. They're smaller cans. This is a bigger one for what we do. This is what we need. Yeah? All right, there you go. Make you a little fuel can to go inside. That's all you need. Happy beekeeping. Keep watching. Check our site at littlecreekbeeranch.com, the personal advisory page, program, and the sustainable newsletter. Very cool. See you later.